Cowboy. This is the NR Cowboy, letting you know that we are working on Season 2 of Ancient Action Figures right here at the Six Scale Cantina. But you have to ask yourself, is it... Wait a minute, looks like I'm getting a call. Could it be from another worldly being? Let's pick it up and find out, baby. Hello? Hot Toys Wizard? No, I'm not a fan. Why? Because I'm the in-art cowboy. Ain't no Hot Toys Wizard. Yeah, I am aware that the season premiere of Yellowstone is this weekend. But who cares about Yellowstone? Let's talk about the season premiere of ancient action figures. No, I'm not the 13th Skull. Hello? Hello? We've got a whole lot to talk about here in this fourth episode of this season of the market show. You got a whole lot of figures that are just crashing. You got new figures coming on wait list. And we've got Ares's wizard juice right here. Let's crack it open. Let's see if it can get the give the in our cowboy here. Look at those constellations. They're moving for me like they do Ares. Am I gonna get the same knowledge? Hmm. Let's go ahead and find out. Right now. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Market Show, episode four of this season of The Market Show, right here at the Six Scale Cantina. Let's get right into it. We've got a ton to cover. And you have to ask yourself, is it possible that now on this Indiana Jones, this deluxe version from the Dial of Destiny, that it actually says right here, Almost sold out. Not low stock remaining or anything like that. Now it's just plain and simple. I'll blow it up a little bit here so you could see it. Almost sold out. And I say yes. Wow. Almost sold out. Gone. And how rare is this going to be and how sought after is this going to be by collectors because the movie was for a lot of people or at least according to the box office baby it was kind of a bomb right but i knew some people that enjoyed it or said it was okay but you know this isn't the indiana jones that i personally you know dream about week after week or when i think about indiana jones this isn't the indiana jones from that film that really gets me going it's not the indiana jones from for instance raiders of the lost ark or from the temple of doom or even the last crusade where he was with his dad played by sean connery still it's indiana jones and I don't think that they made a whole lot of these and are making a whole lot of these. This never went up high onto the sideshow collectibles, best-selling list, really, really high. You know, and it kind of went down pretty far and kind of lingered there for, you know, months and months now at this particular point. Of course, the collector edition 
has been sold out for quite some time now. And now this deluxe version, which has this super cool base, is uh, just about sold out. Not low stock remaining on the pre-order. Sold out. So chew on that as we continue to go through this. I could tell you right now, there's not going to be very many of this particular figure. If you want to take, for instance, and talk about the Scarlett Johansson Artisan Black Widow, you've got 2,000 of the one without the special, uh, you know, added, you know, arm gauntlet or whatever it is, you know, from Thanos. And then you've got 4,000 that comes with it. So essentially, you've got 6,000 Artisan um, Black Widows. Do you have 6,000 of the Dial of Destiny, Indiana Jones? And I say, no. But, because it's not advertised just how many go into the production of this figure, it's never going to be quite as coveted, collecting-wise, holding it onto within your collection wise like that artisan black widow it's not exclusive in that regard so how much does that affect the long-term market secondary market prospect of this particular figure and i think it's worth some conversation as we go ahead and try to you know dice you know decipher you know that um this it's going to be obvious that there's not very many of these that are going to be available out there the production runs that hot toys in collaboration with sideshow are producing these days to me and in my view and from what i'm seeing are very, very, very low production. And what have I been saying for months and months, or I guess we could say now, a couple of years already, there's going to be more and more announcements, but less production of those announcements, a lot less production of all of these announcements, with a whole lot more 2.0s that are going to be coming in and mixed in, and a whole lot more variations of such. So there's a couple of things. If you go with that analogy, okay? If you, if you go under that view of that analogy, there is a couple of things to think about here. I, I don't think that there's that many of these. And while this may not be, for the majority of collectors, the definitive... Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. It is still Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones with a really freaking amazing, and I do mean amazing, head sculpt with purrs. And you're getting leather. You know, you're getting leather with this, ladies and gentlemen. The jacket on this is leather. It's not pleather which is really, really good. And the shoes are genuine leather um, with intricate texture as well. So your shoes on this baby and your jacket is leather. You're getting purrs. You're getting next level. Um, you're getting a next level likeness of Harrison Ford. I think when you put all that in together, and then if you want to go ahead and throw in this base, let's see if I could get a picture, you know, by itself if they put it in here with all this stuff of what this base looks like. And here you go. And I'll see if I could blow that up a little bit. This looks like a kick butt display base. I'm just being honest. With that Indiana Jones dial of destiny right there, this looks sick. I think when you put all this in together, this is going to be a very highly sought out after piece. And I, 
you know, it's said to be coming out. Let's go backwards to see. Well, let's not go to that yet. But let's go back here to see when this is coming out. November 2024 to December 2024. And I think this is why this is almost sold out. I think that this is going to be officially, you know, released by Hot Toys. You're going to start seeing some blogger photos. You may start seeing some videos on this. I think this is going to go hard. I think this is going to go really, really hard. Kind of like when that updated head sculpt of Obi-Wan Kenobi for the DX26 from the Obi-Wan series comes out. And collectors see that this may even be better than what we're seeing here with the prototype. And you got genuine leather boots. And you got a genuine leather jacket. And you got Indiana Jones, albeit not the Indiana Jones necessarily that most collectors have on the forefront of their McMines. But on their McMines, nonetheless, if you want this figure, I wouldn't skip on it. It is almost sold out. And I think it's going to be a winner in the secondary market. That's what the stars show right here. Can you see? Cheers. Let's suck it down together. Don't forget to smash that like button, baby. And don't forget to hit the sub sub. Appreciate your support. Cheers. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. I just got to take another one, man. Simply delicious. As is the look with this figure. So, as we're talking about this figure, what in the world is the other thing that I tease that ties into this particular figure, for instance, when it comes to more and more announcements, but less production of these announcements, with more variations in 2.0s? Well, let's go here. I mean, look, what anniversary is coming up next year? And one of them is, obviously, the 20th anniversary of the Revenge of the Sith. But that's not the anniversary I'm talking about. There is another anniversary next year, and it is the 10th anniversary of The Force Awakens. And when you talk about this particular piece right here. And what an amazing job they did with this likeness of Harrison Ford to be able to give us purrs and an updated version of Harrison Ford's portrayal of Han Solo. Han Solo from The Force Awakens. And if they want to make it an artisan baby, give you an older version of Harrison Ford Artisan. Limited to 2000, can't even imagine. I don't care what anyone says about The Force Awakens that made $2 billion or how they feel about the sequel trilogy. You put out an Artisan version of Harrison Ford. You put out a, 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 a an Artisan version of Harrison Ford, baby, from The Force Awakens. You limit it to 2000 that goes in the the Q system crashes. You're gonna need help from the 13th skull and many other ancient action figure friends because that thing is just gonna break. And I mean break in a good way. It's just gonna sell out very, very, very quickly. So I would hope it's something like that. Um, get the Force Awakens or whatever movie or show out of your head. It has nothing to do with that anymore, the way these collectibles, not just in Hot Toys, but across the board and outside of action figures are being produced right now in this volatile global economy. It's just a lot less production than what you've seen in the past. So even when you talk about questionable IPs, popular IPs, but niche IPs that may not have as much um, of a fan base as, let's say, like Marvel, or characters like the Mandalorian or Iron Man, they're not off the table anymore. Because, again, more and more announcements, but less production, baby. 
of those announcements with more 2.0s and more variations. And make no mistake about it, they can take this head sculpt and they can spin it in a sculpted version of Harrison Ford with purrs from The Force Awakens, an artisan version of Harrison Ford from The Force Awakens. They could give you another alternate version of Harrison Ford, okay, from The Rise of Skywalker. There is absolutely so much that they can do and you have to wonder is it possible that with this Harrison Ford this Indiana Jones getting ready to come off the table that possibly an Indiana Jones from the aforementioned Last Crusade or the Temple of Doom or the Raiders of the Lost Ark is forthcoming? And I say, I need another swig of this wizard juice because it's getting really hot in here. And I need to, I, I need to cool down and all this coffee I'm swimming in, baby. Mmm. Absolutely. Absolutely delicious. You heard it right here. Indiana Jones, not just a low stock warning, but almost, almost, almost sold out. Almost sold out. If you want it, you got the money for it. You're not going to go in debt over it and you really want it. I wouldn't sleep on this one. I don't think they made that many of them. Um, and, uh, yeah. That is just absolutely insane. And speaking of Harrison Ford, I think you're going to get at a Harrison Ford, a Harrison Ford Hot Toys party. Yes, I see it in the stars. Don't worry, I'm not going to take another swig yet. I need at least another four minutes to sober up. So do you. On this wizard juice. Yeah, I think it's going to be a Harrison Ford party with Hot Toys forthcoming. So you do have to ask yourself, are we getting to the point now where this Return of the Jedi, this sort of obscure, out of nowhere announcement in the beginning of the year, after the anniversary of Return of the Jedi was over, that this is going to be hitting the wait list? And I say, yes. But why? Well, let me tell you why. Because you got other Harrison Fords that are going to be coming to the table. Other Harrison Fords that are going to go specifically with characters like this. This Chewbacca and C-3PO from the empire strikes back with this wool hair which mind you is not wool hair that is put into this figure with implantation technology it's not rooted for instance but it still is not the barbie hair it's uh, as you would call it it's the rooted hair. it's the uh, the wool hair so it's very very impressive and if you're gonna have a wool quality caliber hair Chewy. Certainly you're going to want a wool hair rooted quality Han Solo to go with it. And as that Return of the Jedi one that I have up on the screen, as it passes into the night, like the 8 million other figures that have passed into the night from pre-order to waitlist to sold out to somewhere now available in a different system outside the Milky Way, perhaps at Proxima Centauri, you know, with the 13th skull, which is where this is going soon. Are we going to be getting this 
artisan. Han Solo. Four, specifically, The Empire Strikes Back. Gosh, yes. You're going to get it for Return of the Jedi too. Don't worry. That's a lot of hair there, baby. That's a lot of, that's a lot of 1983 hair from Return of the Jedi. You know, that's, uh, you're also going to get it from A New Hope. You're also, you're going to get it from The Force Awakens that I told you. You're going to get it from The Rise of Skywalker. Any way that they can use these head sculpts in different ways, the basic tooling anyway, over and over and over again, they're going to find a way to do it. Just like they found a way and have found a way with the General Kenobi Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi with the Mandalorian Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi and just like they found a way with the finally recently blogger photos revealed of the artisan DX Joker even before that they found a way to capitalize On that head sculpt of Heath Ledger. We have the Batman imposter version. Of the Joker. Which I have baby. And you can maybe see. Behind me. And so. They're going to utilize. These Harrison Ford. Head sculpts. Many many different ways. And I believe. That an artisan Han Solo is coming. Not only to go with that Chewbacca, but also to go with what they have already teased. We've been waiting how long for a Han to go with a Leia from the Empire Strikes Back? When are we going to get a Han that's going to pair precisely and correctly with a Leia from the Empire Strikes Back? Well, I'm telling you, very, very soon... Which is why they tease this right here. Right in. With this wool hair Chewbacca. And yes. Is it possible. That you're going to get two versions of Leia. An artisan. And a sculpted. And I say. Cheers baby. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the sub sub. Subscribe. This is the first time you're watching. I appreciate your support. Let's suck down more knowledge. Mm. It's really exciting when you think about Star Wars and Hot Toys, especially since they have the license for these six scale figures and they're producing them at the quality that we're starting to see. Um, A lot of the old figures, a lot of the old original trilogy figures from Hot Toys Are they going to be passe? Are they going to crash within the secondary market? And we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be taking a look at some things that are going on there that are quite telling, that are quite revealing. And they may point to exactly why things have these limited number of production that they're letting you know about. They may pinpoint why some of these are just advertised in that way. Much like what you're looking at right here with this Scarlet Witch. Okay, which is due to come out anytime from November to March. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it if we get this before the holidays. I think it's possible, but we'll have to see how things are going but look when you take this let's let's look at this um elizabeth olsen scarlet witch and when you when you when you and you see right here this one's limited to gosh what is it 2000 or 2500 pieces um trying to look exactly what it is here it's one of those it's either 2000 no 2500 2500 there you go. Now let's blow blow this up a little bit. 
I mean, that is just, you know, I, I, I don't even know what to say about this figure. I cannot wait to get this figure. I mean, it just, it, 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 it looks like a picture of her, um, except for the red. Well, it looks like her on maybe Halloween if she was dressing up. Um, when you have those red, you know, contacts in there, this thing is just, uh, I mean, that is unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, uh, I mean, look at that. It looks like a real human being. And it's limited to 2,500 pieces. And it's exclusive. And while they'll do many versions of an Elizabeth Olsen Scarlet Witch in the future, an artisan, they'll never do exactly this one. Because this one will always be limited to 2,500 pieces and will always be exclusive. While they'll give you maybe 12 different variations out the wazoo, they won't give you this one again. This is where the market is going. This is where the long term, if, you're, if, if you want your figures to be worth money in the future, you know, when they come out with these figures that look like this but are eventually going to be able to speak to you, I guess technology will just keep going. This one will still be, and always be, limited to 2,500 pieces. And when you look at this, it looks like Elizabeth Olsen. And when you look at this, this looks like a toy. As good as it is, and I'm going to say as good as it was, if you put this in front of and polled 1,500 people, in Times Square, they're probably a majority of them going to tell you this looks phenomenal, but this is definitely a toy or a statue. Okay? Because that is the, this is how fast this hobby, this six scale collecting hobby when it comes to action figures, has progressed. Has progressed. And when you're speaking about the original trilogy, Okay, and a lot of those original trilogy figures that are out. I have the Leia from A New Hope. She's a phenomenal looking piece from Hot Toys. I have both Han Solos. Okay, the Han Solo Stormtrooper disguise and the regular Han Solo from A New Hope. I've got pretty much, I got a ton of Lukes. Okay, and when you look at them and you start looking at this, you're starting to see that they could get better. And they did get better. And when you look at this particular figure here and you look at this picture, as good as it was, it's nowhere near, not even close to the likeness of what I am showing you on this particular screen with this artisan edition of Elizabeth Olsen. It's 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 like it's her. You know, you take that, you put it in a real background in real life, and then you pull the people in Times Square, and they may tell you, no, this is her, this ain't a toy. That's the difference with these artisan figures. That's what's going on. And when you add in that they have limited to 2,500 pieces or limited to 1,500 pieces or limited to 4,000 pieces, it starts becoming priceless, which is what is happening in the secondary market with some of these Hot Toys artisan and next level DX or next level figures and these in our figures. It is absolutely, absolutely incredible. And you could take a look at this here. And I'm going to pull up the Artisan Edition of this Jack Sparrow. And you put this up in Times Square. And 
I'm telling you, the majority of people are going to say, this is not a toy. Does this look like a toy? Does this look like a toy? It looks like Johnny Depp. He came over for Thanksgiving. He took a picture while he was eating your turkey. Pause. Wizard juice. Come on, baby. But Aries, what's the long-term value of this? Well, I don't know. But it's limited to, what, 4,000 pieces? They could come out with 8 million different variations of Jack Sparrow. But not this one again. And this one will always be limited to 4,000 Mick pieces. And that is going to be the difference for the long-term prospect of some of these Hot Toys figures which are coming out real, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And look, baby, I could show you many examples of the progression of the immediate, quick progression these six scale figures have gone through over the last few years. Not even. This is a darn good head sculpt and likeness to Giancarlo Esposito, Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. Okay, it is. It's just good. I've had the figure. I'm telling you it's good. It's really nice. I mean, it, it stuns people when they see it, right? They come over. They're not collectors. They see this. But I have to be honest with you. The new one destroys it. Look at this. I mean, this is next level and it has rolling eyes function it has the purge system baby and what's the difference here as well the other one's not on the wait list this one is on the wait list because they're coming out with more and more announcements but less production of those announcements with more 2.0s and more variations because people don't have as much expendable income that they did before COVID and during COVID. And and right now people are saving their pennies and their nickels and their dollars and their cents and their expendable income to help pay for utilities, necessities, things that they need, pay the rent, put gas in the vehicle, pay the utility bills, get that electric bill paid. Help pay the, the mortgage, the rent, chip in here, chip in there. Uh, and a, a lot of it right now, until a lot of these things turn turn around, it's a lot of the same collectors over and over again buying the same things. And look, this is just, that is, this is what we're dealing with now. So when you look at the original trilogy, and you look at that original Carrie Fisher a New Hope Leia. Or you look at that original um, Harrison Ford Han Solo. Or you look at those original original trilogy figures, no pun intended. I'm sorry. They don't have the same level of detail. The same level of near perfection that what you're seeing on the screen here has. They don't have the same level of perfection that that aforementioned Scarlet Witch have. They don't have the same level of perfection that these figures, like these artisan figures, have. Look at that. Look at that. Gaze your eyes on that. Pause. Smash the like button. Hit the subs is the first time you're watching Six Scale Cantina. I appreciate it, baby. And when you start adding in lower production, which means there's not that many out there, and you start going ahead and putting in numbers on some of these, it starts becoming more sought after. Again, cause and effect. There's a lot of cause and effect with the supply and demand. 
Low supply equals high demand. High supply equals low demand, especially in a volatile global economy where there's not enough money at the moment to be able to dive into necessarily everything that is out there now or in the past. And how is it affecting the secondary market with some of these figures that are coming out? Well, let's take a look, baby. Let's take a look. This sold on November 7th. For under 200 bucks. Did you ever think you'd see a day? Did you ever think you would see a day where your Revenge of the Sith regular Anakin would sell? Like 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 Fennec. Like Cosca Reeves. Did you ever think you'd see a day? Like the Grand Inquisitor. Like Gore. Outstanding seller. 99 feedback. But all 100% positive. Sold. No kidding. I would have bought this, actually. Gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Not including the $30 in shipping. Why? Why? Why only this price? And, uh, well, I I could tell you why only that price. Because everybody's going to be putting their pennies and nickels together to get this. Which, again, if you go poll people here in Times Square, in the Bronx, in L.A., in Seattle, in Cleveland, in Detroit in Tokyo, in Moscow, and you put this behind a backdrop, or, you know, you put a picture, who's going to say that this is a toy? I don't even know any statues that look like this. There's a statue of Rocky Balboa, you know, at the steps in Philadelphia. That looks like a statue. This looks like a, this looks like an, an, an otherworldly being. This looks like a friend of the 13th skull. Don't worry. For those that missed out on this, we've been talking about it. You're going to get your dark side because they're going to utilize this head sculpt to give you a Joker, Batman, imposter version. Which, doing this with this figure, all you gotta do is change those two eyeballs that are in the purse system that they gotta insert in there anyway. It is the easiest, easiest, easiest variation to do that they could ever do. So don't worry. I believe that that's coming. But this this, this is next level. So if you're wondering why this is happening, that's why. That is exactly why. But why isn't it such a dive with this one? Although it is a way, way dive. Another outstanding seller. 2,282 feedback. And, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, 100% positive. $455, which is not $855. So it's cut down quite considerably because I think a lot of collectors are putting together that at the end of the day, we're probably definitely going to do get this. Certainly in an artisan version. At the very least. But the difference here is this one's a 2018 Toy Fair exclusive and will always be a 2018 Toy Fair exclusive. That 
particular base is special to this. This is special to that 2018 Toy Fur exclusive. Now, what would make this more, okay, stable, as far as if you want money for it in your collection or you want your collection to be worth in the future more with this piece, is if they would have numbered this to the 4,000 pieces or 3,500 pieces or 2,500 or 2,000 pieces like they're doing with those artisans. If they would have done that, this would just be an older version, obviously going to be inferior to the new one that they're ultimately going to come out with. But it will always be limited to those numbers and always be this 2018 Toy Fair exclusive. Nonetheless, this will still always be a 2018 Toy Fair exclusive. It may not ever go back to 800 to a thousand eleven hundred dollars like it was once upon a time in a galaxy and dimension far far away but when you're seeing this and you're wondering well aries what is going to happen with the scarlet mcwitch because they have eight million of them already well not that one but the other scarlet mcwitch and I'm going to say, hey, listen, it's exclusive. Like that Dark Side Anakin. And this one's limited to 2,500 pieces. And no matter how many more that they do, it's going to have that, uh, what do you call it, that um, appeal. And that, you know, collectible, extra, extra, extra collectible value tagged to it from now throughout all eternity and collecting anyway pause i need more drink interesting which is why i'm only going to collect certain figures now and a lot less than 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 what i used to because they're first of all they're way more expensive I mean, this is a whopping $445. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, that's what it costs to get the artisan version. To get the premiere version of that particular figure. If I want to go ahead and get this, the Pirates artisan version of Jack, it's $495. Gosh. Let's save a lot of money. It's not just buying one trooper anymore. It's like buying two. That's two. It's 500 bucks. It, it's like buying two packs now. That's the price. We wanted it. We wanted next level. Wanted them to be like in art. Well, here you go. Now you got it. Now you got it. And a lot of the older figures, even ones like this. And look, I, I, I'm going to be one of the channels that, that are going to show you this here. Or are going to tell you this first. This is, I have this figure. I love this, uh, you know, Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. And, and you can see it still went for a good price. With $361, albeit only three bits. Sold on November 5th, not including the very small $12.55 in shipping. But is it possible that collectors are starting to realize that it's just inevitable that they're going to redo this and that it's going to have hers and just far exceed the old one? And I say... Come on, of course you know that. And that's part of what is going on. And really, this was heralded and really is one of the best head sculpts of, of all time. But I, I'm being honest with you. When you're looking at some of these that are coming out, and I'm going to go back to Moff Gideon here, and you're seeing them basically match the prototype with details like this, 
all respect to that awesome Obi Wan Kenobi that I got, we're just at a different level right now. And we've got Purrs. We're just at a different level. Look at that Heath Ledger Joker. Look at that Heath Ledger Joker from uh, the Artisan line. Look at the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman compared to all the other Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. The Artisan, Warner Brothers 100, Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. Yes, it's amazing. Look at that Vigo Mortensen in art figure. Look at that Ian McKellen, Gandalf in art action figure. Love the Peter Cushing. Love the Peter Cushing Moff Tarkin. Love the Alec Guinness. A New Hope Obi-Wan Kenobi. But ladies and gentlemen, these figures right now, they're just starting to not only match those, but exceed those. So what are going to be the value of some of those figures from the past? And... We're going to have to keep an eye on it. But some of them are going to tank. Some of them are going to hold. And we're just going to have to see, baby, how it all unfolds. But I can tell you, the more that they produce with low production, and the more that they produce that it's limited to a certain amount of pieces, the more value you are going to see in the future with those pieces, for sure. For sure. It's absolutely, absolutely crazy. And when you look at some of this stuff over here, like this Luke Skywalker, look, uh, when you go going back to the Han, going back to the Leia, they had Luke Bespin up. They had Luke Mandalorian up. They had Luke, uh, you know, Snow Speeder pilot up. And then they put this up. And this is all gone. Waitlisted, waitlisted, waitlisted. Every variation. How long are you going to have to wait for another Luke Skywalker? Uh, probably this week. And I'm saying that as a joke. But I'm kind of serious. You're going to be getting your next Luke and your next Hans very, very, very quickly. Look, they're putting out these... Black Widows. Okay, artisan figures. The Scarlet Witch. You know, artisan figures. When they still have Scarlet Witch and Black Widow hot toy figures in many comic shops that are in stock. And you don't have to wait for anniversaries anymore either. I told you about this last week. This was the news I broke for you last week. The Revenge of the Sith. There's a 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith coming up in a couple of months. Okay, less than a couple of months. But they put this out this year anyway. And it's already waitlisted. They don't even wait for that anymore. Just like Hot Toys didn't wait for this. They put this out. I know it's crazy, right? How long are we calling for a Grievous and an Emperor? How long are we even waiting to fill Table 66? This is Table 3. We fill Table 3 and Table 66 this year. And we're not even at the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. I need another drink. And some of you are going to tell me, I don't think they're coming out with this or that, Aries. Come on. I can tell you one thing they're going to come out with. There's a different version of General Grievous and Ed Sidious for next year. Once these go on wait list, I'll find a variation to put up. Grievous, backstage, holding wizard juice. Exclusive version. Batman imposter version of Darth Sidious. Yeah. 
You know what other anniversary is next year? This anniversary, baby. And look at that hair. And look at this likeness. And this is one of those things. Again, go to Times Square. And this could be a figure from Hot Toys. And this can be an artisan. And you put it on a backdrop on this. Say, is this Daisy Ridley from one of her posters? From one of her films in Star Wars? Or is this a toy? And no one's going to tell you. Or a lot of them are not going to tell you that this is a toy. But this is kind of what the artist's inversions are kind of looking like. And is it possible that we're going to be getting a ray for the 10th anniversary of The Force Awakens? And I say, get ready to spill your coffee, baby. But is it just going to be one variant? Oh, yeah, we'll just make, you know, 3,000, you know. And, you know, we'll give... You know, well, we'll have a sculpted version too. Oh, and that'll be it. No. Then you'll get your dark side for sure. They'll be able to give you a dark side version. They'll be able to give you a Last Jedi version. They'll be able to get you different Rise of Skywalker versions. They'll be able to get you, I had a cup of coffee with George Lucas version. They'll be able to get you backstage uh, shaking hands with Oscar Isaac version. They'll be able to get you. I shook hands with, uh, I don't know, the Penguin or Batman. And there you go. They'll put her in a bat suit or a cat suit or some suit. Any version you could think of. They could have Collector Harry. Collector Harry can imagine a variation of, you know, Chewbacca. And then Hot Toys, but that's a great idea. Collect a Harry, a, a variation of Chewbacca, limited to 300 pieces. Enter the Q system. And let me ask you this, or let me say it like this. So you have to ask yourself, you have to wait. Hot Toys has to wait for the 10th anniversary of The Force Awakens. This can't came out, come out between 9 and, you know, November and December, right? Impossible. I don't know if all the trends, what have they been doing? What do you think? Mm. And 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 don't forget about this. Ray and Kylo have artisan versions. Forget about the aforementioned Hod solo. Old Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, are you kidding me? Will they do it with Leia? You bet your bottom dollar they'll do it. They'll do it with all of these Force Awakens. And because the wallet awakens. And the last expendable income check that you have for a particular month. And then the rise of the pre-orders. That was pretty good. I like that. Let's come up with a series that, that way. Hmm. It's crazy. It is absolutely, absolutely crazy. And if you liked what you watched here today, look, if you want to support me, support the channel, go ahead and join the channel. Click on the little join button. See everything that it comes with. And I appreciate your support. Trying to get thoughts together, things together, to get the market chart back up. More than just, uh, you know, Star Wars. You know I do a lot of work with the data and trends. Takes money to put up the website. Time is money too. I put a lot into it. All you got to do is click on the little join button. See everything that it comes with. I appreciate your support. Just put this up last week. It's pretty awesome. I did a shelf study. I have all four of these figures. I've already got an artisan uh, Heath Ledger Joker. The Batman Imposter version. Are you thinking about getting that? Or the DX Artisan one? You want to know if the head sculpt is good? Go check it out. Go check out my review. I got it up on the channel. But you can join the channel and check this out. How does the Heath Ledger Artisan Joker compare to the Vigo Mortensen rooted hair um, in art figure. 
Is the Inart figure is is the Inart Vigo Mortensen better than the um, Artisan Hot Toys Heath Ledger? How about the Gandalf? How good is that freaking Gal Gadot? And uh, how much is uh, that holding up? I've had that over a year now. How's she holding up? You're not going to want to miss this Reader Hair Shelf Life Study. Go ahead, click on the little join button, see everything that it comes with. And, uh, you know, I, I really do appreciate your support, baby, for sure. Um, for sure. Absolutely for sure. And, and I will tell you with that, in our, and, and I don't even have it up on the screen. But, uh, and I think it was, uh, well... Uh, another 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 Wonder Woman sold for twelve hundred and fifty dollars. They just keep selling. Why? Because of what I talked about in this show. Fifteen hundred pieces. And it's exclusive. And that Warner Brothers one hundred first artisan in my view. Never can be duplicated again. They can make 8 million different versions of her, but not that particular version. And that's the difference, baby. I don't always suck down the wizard juice. But when I do, baby, I do it right here at the Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends. Ancient action figure theorists watching across the universe, we hope you've enjoyed season one of the Aries Tarrington show right here at the Six Scale Cantina. Get ready for season two of the Aries Tarrington show. We're going to get more experts, more ancient action figure theorists, and we're going to go on location to the craziest parts of the universe the market show is coming back along with six scale raw as we move into production for season two of the aries harrington show stay thirsty baby